So a while back, I made an awesome oxtail pho in a pressure cooker. However, my recipe did not yield that much broth. And there I was, in a low point. I bought so many pho toppings, but made so little broth. Toppings. The toppings. But then it hit me. I can turn the leftover toppings into spring rolls. So let's roll up our sleeves and spring into action. <laughs> Worth it. Okay, before we begin the spring roll, let's take care of the peanut sauce. I don't care what the food Beep. snobs have to say. Spring rolls were made for shoveling peanut sauce into your gob. Okay, rant done. Let's add one cup of water to our pot. Brings this to a boil over medium high heat. Hopefully this lens won't fog up like last episode. Okay, once this thing comes to a boil, let's add three quarters of a cup of peanut butter. Incorporate it in. Yeah, this is too thick. Let's water it down a bit. Okay, this is the consistency you want. Something similar to melted chocolate. Next, let's add one third cup of hoisin sauce. And one teaspoon of soy sauce. Let's give this a taste test. A little bit more hoisin. And why not a little more soy? When it's to your liking, transfer everything to a bowl. Are you struggling trying the stomach Nick to Giovanni's Harvey Weinstein inspired, I hesitate to use the word, humor? I just can't help it. I have to speak. Pork belly, it's been a pleasure getting to know you these last 24 hours, but now. <laughs> Well then, become a fan, hit that like button, and subscribe to my channel. Oh, and your tonkatsu ramen sucks too. Okay, now we can move on to forming the spring roll. And if you already know how to make a burrito, then you're halfway there. So, take a round piece of rice paper, dip it in some hot water, let it soak in for no longer than three seconds, and lay it down on a flat surface. A nice handful of rice noodles. Oh, and uh, my advice, cook this the day you're serving it because reheated microwaved rice noodles taste all dry and crumbly. Some cilantro, green onions, some pickled cucumber I made for my banh mi video earlier this year. In fact, these are the exact same pickles. <laughs> All right, now let's place on our oxtail. And uh, this is just some thinly sliced beef, which I cooked up on a separate pan. And now let's roll it up like a burrito. And voila. There we go, no more wasted money and no more empty stomachs. Now I just need to dip it in the sauce and dig in. Oh what, you think I was gonna set aside some in a small dipping cup? Nuh-uh, didn't you hear me earlier? I'm gonna dip them in this and go Lana Rhodes on these bitches. This has been Chase Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ making cooking fun and meaning it this time. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Friday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and support me. Uh, are these Apocalypse Now references to Cult of the Insensitive? Let me know in the comments section.